Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some Disney Dreamlight Valley, which is one of my favorite games, and we are going to talk about how to unlock all of the adorable companions that are available in the game. If you love Dreamlight Valley and other cozy games, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna kick things off by taking a look at all available companions by heading to the main menu, collection tab, and over on the left, you'll see critters. And scrolling through this list, you see so many adorable little sidekicks that can follow you around in the game. Each of these different companions are in a different section on the map. So we're gonna start off by looking in the plaza. The squirrels are gonna be located here. And each of these companions like a different type of food as well. So we're gonna head into Remy's restaurant and grab what the squirrels love, peanuts. We're gonna go ahead and buy two of these. That way we can feed both of the squirrels that I know that are roaming around in the plaza. That also reminds me that the companions like to roam on different days and at different times. So each time you play the game, you might see someone new. And a squirrel has been spotted, so we're gonna go ahead and run straight up to it. The squirrels are one of the easiest companions to approach. You can just approach them immediately, feed them the peanuts, and they are so happy. The peanuts are their favorite food, but they also will eat apples and they'll like those as well. It looks like we got a motif. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. The gray squirrel is also out and about, so let's go ahead and feed it the same way we fed the last one. Next up, we're going to be feeding the rabbits. And the rabbits really love carrots, and if you don't have any carrots lying around, you can also feed them some lettuce. The rabbits are located over in the peaceful meadow, so that's where we're gonna be on the hunt today. Oh, we already spotted a rabbit. The difference between the squirrels and the rabbits is you can't immediately approach a rabbit the same way. You have to actually chase them around in the peaceful meadow, which is honestly quite adorable. So you, once, once you chase them for a little bit, you should be able to approach them and feed them the carrot and they will absolutely love it. It looks like we also found the white rabbit so we can play a super quick game of tag and we should be able to feed him soon. And we actually unlocked this new companion, so let's go ahead and add him as our sidekick right now. Did you know you can actually pet your companions? Each one will react in a different way whenever you show them some love. Next up, we're going to be feeding the sea turtles that you can find on either side of Dazzle Beach. Sea turtles love seaweed. The best place to find seaweed is by fishing in the middle of the water, not in a bubble. If you fish in a bubble, you'll more than likely pull up a fish, but if you fish in the middle of the water, you will probably pull up some seaweed. If you can't find any seaweed, the sea turtles also will eat clams. Check out this amazing purple sea turtle that we found. So with the sea turtles, they will hide and you just have to wait. And as soon as they pop back out, you can approach them and feed them their favorite snack. It looks like we found our second sea turtle. So remember, wait until they're done hiding, then you can approach and we can finally feed and hope to befriend them so they can become our companion. Next, we are headed over to the Glade of Trust to find some crocodiles. Now, I definitely recommend grabbing your fishing buddy to take with you over into the Glade of Trust because we have to go fishing for some lobster. Be on the lookout for those golden bubbles. It looks like we have one right here and we should be able to catch a lobster. Hopefully, since we have Goofy along with us, maybe he'll give us a second lobster, a duplicate. That way we don't have to keep fishing. Hi 
All right, Goofy did it. He gave us the duplicate. That means we have both lobsters that we need for our crocodiles. Thanks, Goofy. Now we start the search for the crocodiles in the Glade of Trust. If you don't have the crocodile's favorite food, the lobster, you can also feed them some squid. It looks like we found a red crocodile, so let's go try to approach. The crocodiles are probably one of the more difficult companions to befriend because you have to approach them very slowly. When they raise their head, you have to stay still. As they lower their head, you can slowly walk towards them. So watch as I inch my way towards this crocodile. We're almost there. Look, look at the little sploot. I love the crocodiles and the way that they lay down whenever you get to finally approach them. So if we feed them their favorite lobster, check out that adorable animation. Next up, we're going to try to approach this golden crocodile. Isn't it so cute? Remember, whenever their head is raised, you wait, and whenever they lower their head, you can approach. Next, we're headed over to the Forest of Valor to look for some raccoons. The raccoons are so fluffy and adorable, and their favorite thing to eat are the blueberries. If you don't have any blueberries on hand though, you can also feed them some raspberries. You approach the raccoons in the exact same way as the crocodiles. As they raise their head, you wait. As they lower their head, you can approach. Look at how cute they are whenever they sit down as you approach them. Now we can feed them their favorite food, the blueberries, and hopefully we'll be able to add them as a companion. Oh, and it looks like we did. So maybe we can go ahead and have them follow us now. It looks like we also found the white raccoon. So let's go ahead and approach in the same way and feed them their favorite food. Next, we're headed over to the Sunlit Plateau to check out the Sunbirds. Now the Sunbirds each will like a different flower that you can find within the Sunlit Plateau. As soon as we get over here, I already see an Emerald Sunbird. I know that these like the Yellow Bromeliads, so let's go grab a Yellow Bromeliad and try to feed it to the Sunbird and see how it reacts. Approaching the Sunbirds is very similar to approaching the Squirrels. You walk straight up to them and approach. Now let's see how they like this Yellow Bromeliad. Oh, it looks like we unlocked the Emerald Sunbird as a companion. Let's go ahead and add that now. Now we are approaching the Golden Sunbird. Now the Golden Sunbirds like the orange house leek flowers. So let's go grab one of those flowers now. Next, we're headed over to the Frosted Heights to look for some foxes. Now, you will need your fishing companion again because we are going fishing for some white sturgeon. You can find the white sturgeon in the golden bubbles in the Frosted Heights. If you end up not being able to find any white sturgeon, you can also give the foxes some crab.
All right, Goofy worked his magic again and gave us an extra sturgeon, which is exactly what we needed. So now it's time to look for some foxes. To approach the foxes, all you have to do is chase them just like the rabbits. Look at that adorable dancing animation. I love the foxes so much. Now we are on the hunt for the blue fox. Oh, it's right behind us. Look at how beautiful the coloring is on this fox. So let's chase it and feed it the same way. Our final companion of the day is a raven. Now the ravens are very picky and they have to have, of course, five-star meals. So we're heading back to Remy's and my favorite five-star meal to make is this ranch salad. I feel like it's, in my opinion, one of the easier ones to make and I always have a lot of the extra ingredients. So we're gonna make a couple of these and go feed the ravens. The ravens are all the way over in the Forgotten Lands, so let's head that way. Now it looks like the first raven is a blue raven, so we just have to wait for it to circle and we should be able to approach. Now we can feed it its five-star meal and it should be very happy. Oh, and it looks like the beautiful white raven is right next to the blue raven. So again, we wait while it circles and we should be able to feed it as soon as it lets us approach. I absolutely love the way that this companion looks. It is so beautiful. All right, friends, that was the complete guide to all companions currently available in the game. If you have any tips or questions, feel free to throw them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.